So guys, I haven't actually posted in such a long time, but me and Cole competed our very first season. Um, so I thought I'd do a little recap of what we got up to, just to catch you guys up. So this was our very first outing slash show type of thing that we went to. It was a progressive day, um, and me and Cole did the 50 and then two 60 rounds. We did get an unfortunate pole in our 60, but he still jumped epic. Um, but yeah, I was feeling very nervous for my first kind of show jumping round on him actually out somewhere. Um, but yeah, he here's a cute little photo of him. He always puts his knees so high. Um, and then our next show that we went to was a ribbon day. Cole decided that he didn't really like doing any more flat work and he wouldn't move. So I had to hop off him and finish there. But we did get two ribbons, so that was pretty good. Here's him cantering around and then here's us receiving our ribbon. Our next show that we went to was my very first one day event. Me and Cole got third. Our dressage, it was so wet and slippery. It it was like the worst weather. Um, but he was so good. He doesn't have shoes on, he's barefoot, so it was he just felt like he was gonna slip over. Um, and I was actually most worried about the dressage just because it's not really our forte. Um, but he handled it pretty well. We got a 60.26% um and you'll kind of see that our finish was not very good um he did not like the rain here was our show jumping our show jumping went the best i'd say um it was it was our first competitive show jumping round um and he he did very well he was a very good boy it was raining the whole day so he was very well well behaved um, he did hit this pole and I was like, please stay on. And then I was like, okay, I have to ride this one properly. Otherwise, we're going to have a pole. Um, but he was very good. Very good boy. And then we move on to cross country. I was so nervous. We were one of the last to go as well. Um, so we went to the warm up so early and then we were just waiting for like half an hour. But um, yeah, he was very good. We didn't actually end up jumping a fence in the warm up either because it was so muddy. But he just handled it very well and finished through the flags. So yeah, overall we got third, which I was very happy with for my first one day event it was also cole's first event as well i don't think he's done any competitive um cross country so that was pretty cool here's another little clip of him going over some of the jumps and through the water and this was the 65 centimeters so um it's one of the lowest heights you can do in both of the paddocks but yeah, as you can see he just went through the water we had to do quite a lot of practice through the water um before this event because he would not go in the water jump so yeah, that would have been quite disappointing if he didn't go in so our next show that we went to was a dressage show it was area dressage dressage is not his forte he does not like it and he kind of just wants to get it over and done with um and I am not the biggest fan of dressage either, but I obviously do flat work and things, so it is good for them. Um, but I learned the test wrong and messed it up on both of my dressage tests. Um, so that was not very good. Wrong. Here's me like I messed up, but yeah, it was not very good. And then here was my second ever ODE. We did the 65 again at the same place. My dressage, I got the exact same score. I got a 60.26, but it wasn't as slippery. It was in the middle of summer, but it was still raining at this event, which wasn't fun. Um, but yeah, he, I feel like he was a lot better in this test. Um, I think we did go disunited in the canter <laughs> and then he went back to trot, but it was still quite slippery. So yeah, but he, he did pretty well. And this time he actually halted 
properly. Last time he like swung his bum around because the wind and the rain, but this time he actually halted, which was nice. <laughs> and then we had our show jumping around. I did not hear the bell go, so I just thought, okay, the bell's been. So I just picked up my canter and went. Luckily, they rang it while I was midway cantering around the first fence. Um, but he jumped this one really, really good. I um, almost forgot a fence coming up. I was like, I could not find it. So I was like looking around. But this was meant to be a two stride. We did get three. Um, but he jumped really well. So I was very happy. Coming around here, a lot of horses look at the banners on the side of the arena. The cull was very good. And this here, I did not know where I was going. Almost hit the cone. I was like, where am I going? But then I found my fence. I felt so bad. Cole was like, what are you doing? But yeah, um, he just, he jumped very well. Again, raining. <laughs> we have not had any luck at events. I think every event, like an ODE or two day, it has been raining. So it's not very fun. Here was our cross country. The course was actually very similar. Um, the event was about um, two months apart from each other. Um, he went through the water much better this time. And, well, through both waters, he went well. I also felt so much more confident going around a course because I'd done it all before. And here's us going over our last fence. He did get a bit strong there. Um, and here's us jumping our first fence on the course. Jumped very well. So here it was us at our very first two-day event in Haura. I don't actually have any videos of our dressage, but I was late to it because I forgot my gloves and I had to run back on Cole, jump back on him, and the lady was not very happy, but <laughs> we got there. And my show jumping round went very well, I'd say. It was so slippery. He felt like he was just going to slip over, so I was taking the corners very wide. There were quite a few horses that had slipped into jumps and were stopping, so he handled it very, very well. And here's us coming to our last fence, which he, he was so good, we went clear. And then here was us out cross country. This was much more of a bigger cross country course because it's like a two day event. The cross country course was longer and the jumps were definitely a lot better. They felt bigger and more spooky. Uh, but here's us going through the water. He would not go through it. I had to kick him. He wouldn't go through it. But eventually he did. It didn't count as water though. because um, that, But this one did. He went straight through. So <laughs> very happy. And then here's us galloping along. Cantering along to our next fence. Um, unfortunately we had a fall. Very disappointing. <laughs> Um, so we got eliminated. But here was us at area show jumping, which was literally like two days after. Um, this was probably one of my favourite shows because it's show jumping and Cole loves it. Here's us going down the triple, which he just aced it. <laughs> um, and this jump here, they hated the filler, like so many also stopped at it. Cole was very good. Um, and here's our fill round. This fence, I messed up the stride, but Cole helped me, um, which was very lovely of him. Um, and then to this, like, one stride, it was meant to be one stride, we got two. I mean, he he put enough on it, so, so good. I didn't really ask too much there. I was just like, okay, we're going over it. Um, and this course here had so many fillers in it. It was very spooky and very scary. And also, there was not much room in this, like, arena bit. It was, it felt, like, so tight. That corner there, it just about missed my jump because I was like, where am I going? Um, we got a bit sloppy around here to this fence. Thank God Cole just pops his legs up. Sorry, Cole. And then to our last fence, which I almost forgot where it was. So... It was a bit of a tight turn, but he popped it very lovely. We did go clear <laughs> and we had a jump off, but we knocked pole, so that was a bit slow. But this is our jump off in our 60 round. We went clear in our 60. This is our jump off. We ended up coming second um, in our 60 round, which I was very happy with. Um, he, the 60 felt so tiny after jumping the 70 because um, we jumped at fir the 70 first. So, yeah. But this, could f the, the last fence was, like, so hard to get to, <laughs> but he just popped over it. And here was us in our very last show of the season, I believe. Um, so it was just like a local show jumping day. It was a, um, 
recycled show jumping day so the ribbons have like ripped from other shows and things but the course was set up so weird um the jumps it was not a very like easy course to jump i'd say but this was our 60 round which we jumped we actually came first which was very good <laughs> there were also quite a lot of fillers there was so much room in this course he was so forward i felt like i was pulling him so much to try and slow him down uh, but this part was actually our jump off so we are going a little bit faster we also got first now 50 which i was going to do the 80 but because the course was like quite difficult it was like not they didn't line up as nice um so i just decided to do the 50 instead and it felt very tall very small but oh well this was our 70 we did get a pole which was very oh, sad man. but um that was my fault when i was coming into it, i was like okay i gotta sit up and but i never did so that was my fault but he jumped everything else perfect and that was our show season